how to make Facebook account completely private. In this video, I'm going to show you several different steps that'll make your Facebook profile completely private. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is open up the Facebook app on our iPhone or Android phone, then select menu in the bottom menu. Once you get here, select the gear in the top right to open up the settings. And then in the settings under tools and resources, select privacy checkup. So Facebook has made it a little bit easier to make our account private, but we need to go through all of these steps and I'll guide you through that so that you can ensure you select the most private options. So first select who can see what you share. And once you see that, select continue. Once in here, you'll see all the different options such as your phone number, email address, and underneath it, it'll say who it's showing to. So if I select my hometown here, you can see public, friends, or only me. Now, Go ahead and select only me and that'll be the most private where no one except for you can see that information. So under your phone number, your email address, your birthday, you wanna make sure that you select into those and select only me for all of those options. Additionally, at the bottom, you can make your friends list private by selecting that and then selecting only me. And then also the pages and people that you follow on Facebook at the last option, if you select that, you can select only me or even specific people that you want to share that with, but select only me if you want it completely private. Go ahead and select next at the bottom. Now we can determine who can see our future post or our future stories. If you select only me, no one will be able to see your future post except for you. Additionally, you can change who can see your stories, limit who can see past posts. If you have past posts on Facebook, you can limit who can see those by selecting view and then just select limit past post. Then just confirm you wanna limit your past post and it'll update all of your past posts so that they're limited. Additionally, at the bottom, you can change who can see your reels on Facebook by selecting that. And then the best limit you can do there is friends or friends accept. So you can hide it from certain people if you want to. Go ahead and select next. After that, we can determine tagging. So who can see post you're tagged in on your profile. If you wanna make that your friends or specific friends, you can do that. But if you select only me, no one will be able to see when you're tagged in someone else's post. Additionally, I recommend selecting the second option for when you're tagged in a post and just selecting only me there as well. After that, I definitely recommend turning on review tags people add. So if people tag you in a post before you're added as a tag, you'll need to review and approve that. And also with the second one, turn that on as well. So you review any tags for pictures or posts before they're added to your profile or on Facebook. Go ahead and select next. Now we're on blocking. If you select that, you'll see a list of the people you've blocked on Facebook. You can also block additional people if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and select next because that's pretty self-explanatory. So now we finished the first section. Go ahead and select review another topic and then select how can people find you on Facebook. Go ahead and select continue. The first option is gonna be who can send you a friend request. If you wanna limit that a little bit, you can change that to friends of friends will only be able to send you friend requests. So people that you don't know at all or never met or don't have any friends with will not be able to send you a friend request. So go ahead and change that and then select save. After that, select next. Now we can determine how people can find us, if they have our phone number or our email address. So first, if you don't want people to be able to find your Facebook account, even if they have your email address or your phone number, go ahead and select each of those and then just select no one. And this will limit people from finding your Facebook account, even if they have your phone number or your email address. So select no one, then save, then select phone number, no one, and save. After that, go ahead and select next. And now we can determine if we want our Facebook account to show up in search engines. So what you wanna do is toggle that off and then select next, and then your Facebook profile will no longer show up in search engines. So if people Google your name, something like that, they won't find your profile. If after doing this, it's still showing up, give it about a week and it should be removed. Go ahead and select review another topic. After that, select your data settings on Facebook and then continue. First, we're gonna see what apps and websites have access to our Facebook account, so select that. Once you get in here, you'll see all the different apps that have access to your Facebook account and its information. If you wanna remove any of them, you can select them and just select remove at the top. By default, if you select remove, Facebook will notify them that you removed it. I'm just gonna turn that off and then select remove. Once you've disconnected any apps or websites, you can scroll down and you can go to preferences for being able to log into different websites with your Facebook account or games, things like that. So you can turn those off if you want to, but you don't have to. So once you're done, select back. And then once you get back to apps and websites, go ahead and select next. If you wanna make sure that Facebook does not have access 
to your phone's location, go ahead and select go to device settings, then open device settings. This will open up the settings on your iPhone or Android phone. And then once you're on the access, find location and you just want to change the location to do not allow something like that. I've actually never had Facebook request my location, so it does not currently show the access here. So if you don't see it, then you're fine. You can just go back to Facebook. But if you see location, you can limit it as much as you want to. So now that we're done with location, select next and then review another topic. The next step is going to be how to keep your account secure. Go ahead and select continue. You can review your password and update it if you've had any hacking issues, anything like that. So change your password if you want to. I'm going to select next. And then one of the best things you can do to make sure that your Facebook account is safe from hackers is to set up two-factor authentication, which requires them to text you or send you an email with a code that you use to log in rather than just your password. So if you want to set that up, go ahead and select get started. It'll walk you through the options and steps, and it's very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and select next. The last option is pretty important. If anyone logs into your account, Facebook will notify you so that you can kick them out. They have two options, Facebook and the app, and then also an email. I recommend turning all these options on, and if you get any notifications, reacting to those in a timely manner. Go ahead and select Next and review another topic. And now we can do the last option, which is your ad preferences on Facebook. So now go ahead and select continue. On the first page, it's just gonna give you some information about Facebook ads. I'm just gonna select next. And then what I recommend doing here is toggling off everything because this stops advertisers from using that information to market to you and give you ads. So turn those off and then select next. And then here, this is how your social interactions can be used in ads. So maybe if you like a certain company and that company runs an ad, they can show your friends or people you know that you like that company. Go ahead and select who can see your social interactions alongside ads, and then select only me, and then save, and then next, and then review another topic. And we have now completed the privacy checkup. We've made our Facebook account completely private. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.